Hey guys, what's up? It's CV Cubing. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve a picture cube. So let's get started. Solving the picture cube is the uh, same as solving the 3x3. Three three. Uh, the difference is the centers can get rotated. And so the difference is we just need to rotate the corners other than solving the 3x3. Three three. So I will scramble it up and then show you how to solve it. So at first we need to make a cross. Um, before solving the picture cube, you must know how to solve the three by three. Here is my three by three tutorial. You can watch that, and you must know the notations. So uh, you have to choose the side from which, uh, on which you are going to make the cross. I'm going to take um, this center. Um, before solving this you must know which side which picture will be so here is the face so I have to make a cross here so here will be another hand so I have to find a hand here uh, yeah here it is it will go here in this position so you will slide it, slide it down here and now we will move it to the top you can see that it matches up now we have to find a piece which fits here here and here the piece which will fit here is um, I need to find that uh, I just can find that it's hard to find here So yeah, it's here. You have to. We have. We will slide it to here. So at first we will bring this layer down, and then we will put this piece here. We see it matches. Now we will slide it to the top. Now we need to find another edge which will fit here, and another here. The edge which will fit here is this one. So uh, we have to slide it to the bottom layer then this piece here and then this piece here you will see that it matches up and now we need to find another piece which will fit here um, this is the piece which will be here so it, it is already in its place now we need to find the corners and uh, align them correctly the corner which is going to be here is this one so we will bring it down here, bottom of the bottom of where it should be and do the regular 3x3 three three move you will see that it matches up now we have to find another piece which will be here there will be some leg uh, where is the leg here here so we will again move it down and we will slide it here and move it to the top here I am not giving you all the algorithms for solving this because I have already made a tutorial regarding the 3x3 three three. you can watch this the link is also in the description and now we need another two edge corners the corner which should be here is already in place and we need another corner which will be here here will be one face so we need to find that here this will be here so we'll bring it down here move it down slide it to the correct position and move it up you will see that one face is solved this face is fully solved now rotate it uh, until you get it to the desired position means you match it up with the centers but you will find that all the centers are not matched up they are either rotated like this so now don't worry about the centers they can be fixed later now flip the cube over now we need to put in the edges uh, like I told you I will not give you the algorithms here if you want the algorithms you can go and watch my 
three by three tutorial I'm again telling you. So the age which will be here will have this picture means a green a green picture and another red picture. So here it is the picture um, the edge. So we will slide it down here, match it up with this one, and do the standard move. So it matched up. Now we will put in this edge. Mm, the edge will have a green and a violet picture. Uh, the piece is. Uh, need to find the piece uh, where is the piece oh. yeah, the, the piece is here and the piece will uh, only the pieces uh, this uh, picture's hand will be here so this is the piece mm. the violet is on the top so it will be here and we will do the again standard move yeah this edge is also put in now we will put in this edge with violet and this green there will be a sue so it is the so this is the correct edge so we will match it up with your violet now we will do the move again oh uh, yeah so it is also matched up and only one edge is left this red and this one uh, so here will be some letter B here will be the B letter and here will be the red and so here it is the B will be here so we will slide it here and we will stand and move again yeah so now it uh, we have completed the second layer now we will proceed for the third layer the third layer we will have a white picture this is the center uh, uh, one piece is already in the position and another piece is also in the position this means we, we are having this situation in a single strand here so we will do the same algorithm for this also now all the edges are in the correct position means they are flipped over now you can see that two edges this and this are in correct position but this piece needs to be here and this needs to be here so you'll have to uh, move them in correct places so we will have to we will have to do the edge swap algorithm yeah now all the pieces are in correct position but the corner ha but the center has turned uh, so we don't need to look at that now now we have to solve the corners we have to find the corner that is in correct position uh, let's check one by one uh, this picture is not going to be here the red is going to be here so this is not the correct um, corner let's check this one uh, yeah it is the violet it is the blue uh, sorry white and it's blank here because nothing is going to be here so it's the correct corner and now we'll do the standard move now we'll check if this is correct uh, yeah if we turn this it will be in correct position if we turn this no need to turn this it's already in correct position this for correct position so you already need to turn this too so it is in this case on this on the three by three uh, not this one 
it is the the same case on the three by three standard three by three uh, you need to turn the corners like this so the algorithm for this uh, we have to execute the algorithm for this Yeah, now all the corners are in correct positions. Now we have it almost solved, but we need to rotate the centers, which we don't have in the regular 3x3 three three because it's in the same color. So, here are two algorithms for the center rotation one will rotate the center 180 degrees, and another will be 90 degrees. So, here we have to find the center which we have to rotate 180 degrees so this we don't need to rotate 180 degrees uh, this also not 180 degrees this one 180 degrees so here we will execute the 180 degree rotation algorithm so the algorithm for that is very easy uh, hold the center which will we have to rotate on the top and do this move or u r prime you have to do this five times or you are prime you are you are prime you are you are prime you and one last time or you are prime you you will see that this is twist in this corner century is rotated now the other algorithm which I will give you is rotating in the center 90 degrees uh, it will not rotate one uh, center but it, it will rotate two centers one clockwise and another anti-clockwise hold a cube like that mm, the center you want to turn anti-clockwise should be on the top and the center which you want to turn clockwise should be at the bottom so we have to turn this one anti-clockwise so that it matches here and this we have to turn anti-clockwise also but first we will turn this one when we will turn this uh, anti-clockwise it will be in correct position so, but when we will turn it in anti-clock sorry clockwise it will be opposite so we can again execute the 180 degree uh, algorithm and it will be in correct position the algorithm for is is uh, this is uh, similar to the six move but it will be with the middle layer so m, uh, m it will be m prime u m u prime 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 on another time m prime u m u prime so you will see that this is uh, rotated in the correct position and this is uh, rotated clockwise so clockwise so it is 180 degree uh, so if you do a 180 degree turn it will be in correct position so here we'll do the 180 degree turn or u r prime u r 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 U R prime and another U and you will see that this center is rotated and it's in the correct position so we are left with only two centers so we will check which in it which needs to be turned anti-clockwise and clockwise 
so if you turn this one clockwise the hand will be in correct position and uh, don't worry about that if you turn this uh, clockwise it will be anti-clockwise um, either it will be in the correct position or it will be uh, we had to do a 180 degree turn so we will do the anti uh, sorry 90 degree turn move on the uh, algorithm is m prime u m u prime 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 m prime u m and then another u prime so we will see that this uh, set is solved and this set is also solved so uh, that's how you need to solve the picture cube so guys if you like this video you drop a like and if you want more videos like this uh, you can subscribe to my channel and guys can you solve this cube in under uh, one, one minute if you can comment down below and thank you guys for watching